What's going on? Let's get it. We in here, man. For another live podcast, baby. I can't even put the comment. It's all good. We in this thing. We in this thing. I tried to put a comment, but they wouldn't let me. Um, but we here, man. We here for another live podcast, a Veterans Voice podcast. And before we even start the podcast, man, we got to get the vibes right. We got to get the vibes right before we start the podcast. Let's get the vibes right, man. We'll give some time for everybody to tune in and get in here. Because we're going to give y'all these gems. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? We live. Shout out to Sparky. Shout out to Cliff. Shout out to B Work. We work. Yeah, man. We shooting a live podcast. And full disclaimer, like, this mic isn't connected to anything. I thought it just looked cool for the aesthetics, but we're here. Shout out to Sweetie. Hi, Sweetie. How you doing, Sweetie? But we here, man. And we got an interesting topic today. Let me know if y'all can hear me as well. It'll give some more time for people to tune in and uh, rock in. Let's get to 500 likes, man. I've literally been on this content grind all day, but I just wanted to squeeze in some time to talk to you guys live and um, just really give y'all these gems, man. We on a road to 10K. It's been an uh, interesting journey uh, on this social media train, but we here, man. We here. And then, um, I say in and now. But on today's podcast, man, today's live podcast, hold on, let me hold the not real mic up. Today's podcast, we're going to be talking about, man, the video topic for this podcast is going to be train your algorithm or the algorithm will train you. That's right. Train your algorithm or the algorithm is going to train you, ladies and gentlemen. And I got a story for y'all, and I know a lot of y'all can relate to this, man. I know a lot of y'all probably can relate to this. Um, but for starters, man, I just want to tell you guys, like, I know some of y'all probably tired of hearing me say this, but like, I always gotta like say this for the new viewers, the new listeners. Like, I am a six-year Navy veteran, digital marketing consultant, AI strategist. The list goes on and on and on. But my main purpose in life now is serving you guys forward with these gems, man. Giving you guys all the knowledge and gems that I wish somebody would have gave me growing up. Um, because I just know the impact that it would have had on my life. Um, so, but train your algorithm or let the algorithm train you. <sighs> so for starters, right? I've been on social media for a minute, man. I was in the AOL chat rooms. I know a lot of y'all are too young for that. Y'all don't even know what AOL is. But I was in the AOL chat rooms. I was on MySpace when people was debating on you know who's your top three friends or like who's your top five like all that stuff you know what i'm saying like i've like been on social media for a minute now and um just to see what social media is today it is really like um it is uh it's very very interesting i'll say that that's that's I want, that's the nice thing i'm gonna say about it but um but yeah man just seeing social media when it was a baby to where it is now like it has gotten so advanced and it has gotten so crazy and um you guys just really need to be aware of like you know the things that you guys are doing on social media i see a lot of buffoonery on social media i ain't gonna lie i see a lot of buffoonery on social media but i'm here to help those people that want to get ahead and not the people that want to be entertained and whatnot but as far as my story goes right so back in my 20s right I'm exposing my age, I know. Um, back in my 20s, man, like, I was on IG just doom scrolling, right? Like, in my 20s, man, I used to follow, like, a lot of IG IG models, IG baddies and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And I literally went with, like, what Instagram was showing me, you know? Like, I just literally was, like, just doom scrolling, just going into the cycles, you know what I'm saying? And um, it took my account being uh i think it was like banned or like i forgot the password whatever it was like removed or whatever but it literally like took my account being taken away to realize that i was like in this endless like you know i was in this endless doom scroll of stuff that didn't really benefit me 
You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people are still stuck inside of that program. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people are stuck inside of that program. And the reason why I brought up the history of social media is because it wasn't until I say Facebook came along, Instagram came along, and especially TikTok. These algorithms are not y'all friends. You know what I'm saying? Like these algorithms are not y'all friends. I appreciate the likes. Appreciate you, Wiz, for the like. Real, real, recognize real, Wiz. Um, but you guys gotta really like double check and look at the things that you're seeing on social media, right? You guys can't just be like just doom scrolling and taking things at face value. And that's not even with social media. That's like with everything in life. Like we have to learn to like read beneath the headlines. You know, we have to learn to stop taking things at face value. You see what I'm saying? So where it said, God bless, God bless us all. God bless us all. But yeah, um. I was a young kid, like I said, just scrolling, looking at IG baddies and just, you know, the one thing I wish I could tell myself, my younger self growing up is, you know, all that stuff can wait. You see what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know, I didn't know that these algorithms just serve you the things that you continue to watch. You see what I'm saying? Like, the truth about these algorithms, especially today in social media, they're not necessarily going to serve you the things that are good for you right sometimes you guys gotta like take a hard refresh at the stuff that you're seeing on social media right it took me like a while to like realize this so when i first got on tiktok you know the first thing i did was because i'm gonna keep a real child man like some of these social media platforms are set up for a lot of y'all to be distracted forever it's set up for a lot of y'all to like really just be in places where y'all don't need to be in life. And we kind of see that in real life today. You see what I'm saying? Like TikTok has come under a lot of scrutiny, Facebook and Instagram as well. And like I said, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing is not necessarily the stuff that's good for you. So like what I recommend everybody to do, especially if you're hearing or watching this podcast, like start not even if you if you're going into social media you need to go into social media knowing what you want to look towards if that makes sense right like you guys need to go into social media and know that it's going to show you a lot of bs when you first log on like i've made i do digital marketing consulting all the time right so i'm always just testing and doing different things right and what i've come to notice and i'm giving you guys these gems like i charge my clients like top dollar for this type of knowledge so I want you guys to do some homework as well. Like, like I said, don't take things at face value. Like even like double check and fact check the stuff that I say. But I guarantee you when you open or start up a new social media platform, right? Whether it's a new Instagram platform or it's a new TikTok platform, it's gonna show you some wild stuff, right? It's gonna show you some wild stuff. And it's honestly a reflection of America today. A lot of buffoonery, a lot of buffoonery. But here's the key hack, right? And here's the key trick with social media. You have to be careful what you're watching on social media, right? Social media is all about watch time, right? So if you're scrolling mindlessly looking at IG baddies, you know, it's gonna continue to show you IG baddies. If you're scrolling and learning or just looking up the stock market, it's gonna to continue to show you stuff about the stock market. You see what I'm saying? So I encourage everybody, especially if you're here watching this live and even on the playback, I encourage everybody to like take a second and look at, take a second, right? This is your homework, right? Take a second and scroll through the first five posts on your social media feed and ask yourself like, damn, like what is it showing me? You see what I'm saying? Because like, it's unfortunate for a lot of people. A lot of people, they stuck inside of the program. You see what I'm saying? Red said, nice lid. I appreciate that. I got it from uh, Japan, man. 
my second hometown, Japan. I appreciate that. But um, yeah, man, social media is not designed to give you the best information, right? Social media in the past, for you guys that don't know, Facebook was literally used to divide people, like with politics and stuff like that. Facebook was literally putting money and pushing negative stuff into your feed and just causing divisiveness. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't realize that. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people don't realize that these social media platforms, they're not here to give us the best knowledge. They're not here to give us the best information. We have to seek the knowledge and the information. You see what I'm saying? So this is something that, you know, it took me a while to find out in life. Um, and if you found this out, like, congratulations to you. But I guarantee you most of the world, they don't really understand like what is going on. They don't understand when they log into Instagram, why it's showing you you know, two people fighting or somebody shooting somebody or some just some negative BS. You see what I'm saying? But you got to ignore that. You see what I'm saying? Ignore the BS. Like we're in a generation where you need to put the best information inside of your brain and not just doom scroll and just look at stuff like, no, let's learn first. You know what I'm saying? Let's learn. Let's put the stuff that's in our brain. Let's put the stuff in our brain that's actually like beneficial and useful to us. See what I'm saying? Craker213 said, what is your message? My message and my whole thing that I'm doing here on social media, man, like, I literally don't make selfish content, right? You guys can check my TikTok. You guys can check my YouTube. Like, I'm literally giving out. I'm literally showing up on social media every single day, giving you guys the gems that I wish somebody would have gave me growing up. You see what I'm saying? Um, and it's for the real ones. I'm not here for everybody. You see what I'm saying? I'm here for the people that see the value and can hear what I'm saying and some fire off in your brain. Because, like, the state of social media today, like, everything is so advanced. I'm not going to lie. Everything is so advanced. Like, even as a digital marketing consultant, sometimes, like, when I'm scrolling and looking, I'm like, dang, how did, how did they know? How did they know I was thinking about that? You see what I'm saying? So we really have to be careful about the data that we put on social media. And we really have to be careful just about the information that we're like spending time on. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of people are confused. A lot of people are confused, but it's literally that simple. Whatever you watch, social media is going to keep serving you that so you can stay on their platform for as long as they can. Or for, you, you get what I'm saying. So I don't know if that answers your question, Cracker. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to come and... Um, just spit some gems live, man. Um, and I'm just thankful and grateful for the growth, you know, thus far. Like, we almost at 10K followers on uh, TikTok. Um, done a million views on TikTok. Done a million views on YouTube. And it has definitely been an interesting journey, man. It's been an interesting journey. I said George. It's been an interesting journey. And, um, you know, before we get out of here, man, I just want to open up the floor to you guys. You know, feel free to ask me anything. Um the best questions will get rewarded. Cause like I said, I'm not here for the clowns. Um, we got enough of that buffoonery on social media. So I just want you guys to really like learn from my mistakes. You see what I'm saying? Like I've went through a lot of stuff in life. Like I've said this in like multiple episodes. Like I literally joined the military, not because I cared or gave a damn about the military. But I literally joined the military to get out of my environment, right? Get out of my environment and just learn and just... Because I wanted more for myself. You see what I'm saying? I was in an environment where I was doomed to be set up. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I can look back on a lot of people that I graduated in high school. And this is not like disrespect or anything like that, but... A lot of them got stuck in the same place. But for me, like, the reason I show up every day on social media, like, I don't care if I get a million, a thousand, a hundred, ten views. My message is, excuse me, my message is for my younger self or my older self. You see what I'm saying? Like, I want to save you the time that it took me to get to the knowledge that I have today. You see what I'm saying? So, I appreciate the love. 
I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the listeners, all the viewers, and I appreciate the New Wealth Nation, man, you know, for holding your boy down um, because it's a crazy world out here, man. And a lot of us look to social media as an escape, but social media can be way more than that. Like, yes, I watch, you know, Marvel Secret Invasion. Yes, I watch the big three. Yes, I watch the NBA games and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm using social media to get ahead. I'm using social media to connect with my people. You see what I'm saying? And you guys really got to train your algorithms, man. Don't let the algorithm train you. Because we've seen a lot of like devastating things, you know, especially in America. And it's not these algorithms job to say, hey, you need you need a mental health break. It's not these algorithms job to serve you the things that you actually need. So whether it's positive or negative, the algorithm is going to continue to send you that kind of content, no matter what social media platform, I said platinum, no matter what social media platform that you own. So like I always say that there, there are two sides to everything in life. You just got to choose what side you want to be on and like what you want to focus on. So Walt baby love 39 says, what do you think about AI? And where is it going? Ooh, that's a great question, Walt. That's a great question. Um, I think right now, even at the fact, even the fact that you're asking about AI, this shows me that you're a forward thinker because I was looking at a chart uh, the other day because I do AI consulting, um, and I think the numbers was like only forty three percent of people have heard about ChatGPT and AI and have actually used AI. And that's kind of sad and pathetic, to be honest. But like I said, a lot of people finna get left behind, but that's here and there. But I just think AI with companies like Amazon investing 100 million into AI, with companies like Microsoft investing 10 billion into AI, with companies like Google investing 100, hundreds of millions of AI, like we're in the early and the beginning stages of AI. So the stuff that we're seeing now, next month, next year it's gonna be completely different and it's gonna be crazy and i encourage everybody like like i said earlier in this podcast like you guys gotta stop reading things like just strictly at the headline like take five minutes of your day do some extra research because there are so many different ways that every single person that's listening to this or watching this can use ai to help them become a thousand times more productive like a thousand times more efficient so for my learners and earners inside of the new AI and wealth society, we're learning how to use AI in so many different ways every other day, whether it's using AI to create digital products, using AI to teach people the stock market and five steps. Like we're getting creative with AI and we're literally showing the positive side of AI that you're not seeing in the media. So that was a great question, Walt. I hope that answers your question, but it just depends on um, your curator. Right. If your curator is um, CNN, you know, it's going to tell you that AI is dangerous and you should stay away from it. But if your curator is the Lord of Gems, man, he go tell you all the ways you can get ahead with AI. You see what I'm saying? So uh, but great question. But like I said, man, um, I just want to come here live, man, and just tell you guys, man, like you guys got to wake up. You guys got to wake up. It's tea good as hell. What's up, Juan? You guys gotta wake up and um, really start to see things for what they really is. You know, whether it's AI, whether it's social media, and you guys gotta really leverage like whatever the hell it is to get ahead. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not just about AI, right? This is about a powerful wave that is coming to take over. Like, literally people, I talked about this in another video, but Literally before the internet happened, right? And I'm exposing how old I am right now. Literally before the internet happened, it was people on newspapers saying like, oh, I'm not, I'm never gonna use the internet. You see what I'm saying? I'm never gonna, you know, use that. Shout out to Chantel for the follow. Appreciate you, much love. But it was literally people saying, I'm never gonna use the internet. I'm good with my newspaper. I'm good. Where are they at now? Left the hell behind. So AI is literally just the next wave that everybody needs to do their own research and learn about. 
right? Even the stuff that I'm saying about AI, go double check and do your own research yourself. You see what I'm saying? So whether it's AI, whether it's quantum computing, whether it's the next wave, like we're always looking at things from more than one perspective, right? Because no matter what it is in life, there are always multiple perspectives. So hope that answers your question. Well, I'm just giving you these gems, man. I'm giving all y'all these gems. I hope y'all value the, you know, gems that I'm giving y'all. Cause like I said, man, I've done a million views on TikTok already multiple times. I've done a million views on YouTube multiple times. Like I'm, I'm officially throwing in the towel, man. Cause I got to put all my time and effort towards my community of learners and earners and people that want to use whatever the hell it is that's coming across to get ahead. So if, you know, my words resonate with you, um, and you value what I'm trying to give. Because like I said, I could selfishly take all the information that I have and just keep it to myself. But I choose to show up here on social media every single day and to give back. Right. Like I said, I literally don't like 99 percent of creators on social media are posting selfish content. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, selfie. Oh, my chest. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm actually giving you game when you're looking at my content. You see what I'm saying? Walt said, most people don't believe that we live in, in a digital world or a digital economy. Look, I'm going to give y'all some last minute gems and some last minute game uh, before we uh, end the podcast. But shout out to Walt, man. Walt, you you own something, bro. You you Walt, y'all need to follow Walt and like really pick this guy's brain because he know what he's talking about. What's up, Joey? Um, but look at what Apple just announced, right? With their... Vision Pro, right? Now, I know a lot of people have like different feelings about Apple, right? But you can't knock what they are today in this current society, right? Literally, almost everybody has an iPhone, right? And while the Vision Pro, I think is going to be like, what, three racks, like as soon as it come out, you guys got to understand, like when the iPhones came out, when the iPad touches or the iPod touches came out, only the people at the top was getting them. But later down the road and later down the line, everybody had iPads and iPods and now iPhones. So while everybody might may not, excuse me, while, while everybody may not get the Vision Pros as soon as they come out in the next year or two, like we often to be on Vision Pros with social media. Like it's literally the next wave. So, yes, the metaverse is is not a thing yet because Mark Zuckerberg is trash, but Apple is literally the leaders when it comes to this technology space. So, if Apple is going that way with their big goggle vision pro thing, whatever, you best believe we're like going to be moving more and more towards a digital world or a digital economy. So, um, and even with like cryptocurrency, like... That's digital money. That's actually backed by something, unlike the fiat money that we currently have right now. But y'all don't want to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I understand, too, sometimes. Like, I've been on social media long enough to appreciate the rose, uh, Cree. I appreciate that. Much love. Um, I've been on social media long enough to know that, like, people don't like to be, like, informed. People like to be entertained. You see what I'm saying? People love. People want me to be on here dancing and doing an electric slide and all that, but I'm not here for that. It's plenty of creators that do all that stuff that dance and shuck and jive and keep y'all entertained. You see what I'm saying? I'm here to keep y'all informed and plug y'all in with the real. You see what I'm saying? Because the world is already filled with so many distractions. So, um, I do my part in showing up on social media every single day, giving you guys the knowledge and gems that I wish I would have had growing up. Like I literally been in this like social media space for like almost a decade now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm barely seeing like the fruits of my labor. So like I said, man, if you're a content creator or if you just somebody that's just an optimist, like I'm your guy. You see what I'm saying? I'm your guy. And I know that algorithms like won't push my content. Like I get it. I understand the game that I'm playing, but I don't give a damn about the algorithms. Like I'm here for my people. I'm here for my people like Walt. I'm here for my people like Cree. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm here for the people that actually, like, recognize value when they see it. So, you guys, man, got, like, like, I started the podcast earlier, man. Like, 
if you've seen this and you stuck with me thus far, obviously you've done a great job at training your algorithm to see like this kind of content. But you know, for most of the world, like a lot of people is just out here distracted, just on the buffoonery, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you, I just have empathy for people like that. I really do. I have empathy for a lot of people in the world because I just, I just realized like what's about to happen in the future. Like I see it every day. Like you guys will be amazed at the people that I talk to on a daily basis that's scared to log in to their computer because they think they go get a virus as soon as they like go to google.com. So like there's people like that still today out here in this world that still are like tiptoeing and scared to jump on the internet. I say internet, but just imagine with this AI stuff, like we're six months in, I would say, uh, mainstream adoption as far as AI. But a lot of people is just, the distraction is at an all time high. The distraction is at an all time high. And um, like I said, I feel bad for a lot of people, man, because they finna get left behind. Meme list said, howdy. What do you think about NASA saying a solar flare could knock out our internet for months to years? That might be a good thing to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. That might be a good thing. And that's why like I'm trying to build my community and just elevate and do whatever it is in life that's gonna like help us be great if some stuff like that happened. Because like honestly, I feel like with the internet and social media, it's been like a gift and a curse. You see where majority of the world is doing. You see exactly what they're doing with the internet. A lot of people just like to just be entertained with the buffoonery. You see what I'm saying? Not a lot of people is using the internet to get ahead. Because here's the thing, right? When I was little, man, when I was like eight, nine years old, I used to pay. You see what I'm saying? I used to pay to catch the bus to go to the library so I could read books. Right? Now, fast forward today, we literally have all the information we could ever want on our phones and yet we still where we at so that just shows me like the frequency of most people in this world you only a rare breed if you actually like looking up knowledge because so many people complain about this and that so many people are like lost and i'm just like are you kidding me we literally have computers in our phones this is a this is not even a phone no more. Y'all don't remember phones back in the day with the whole <laughs> like that was a phone. We have computers in our pockets now. You see what I'm saying? Dr. Dr. Eno me, I can't say your name, bro. He said, yep, it's made us lazier. It has. And here's the thing, y'all. Like, like I said, I was in the military for six years, man. I'm a well-traveled guy, and I've seen people without access to clean water. You see what I'm saying? I've seen people without access to the internet. Like I've seen people still using flip phones in different countries. They don't have the stuff that we have, but yeah, we got all the excuses in the world. Why do y'all think foreigners continue to come over here and dominate? Because we on the bullshit. Damn, I tried not to cuss, man. I tried to go a whole podcast without cussing, but I had to keep it real. That's, that's just what it is though. That's just what it is. Meme list said, do you think the submarine thing was a distraction? Hell yeah, that was a distraction, man. It's... <sighs> man, y'all finna get me banned, but luckily I'm here for the real, and I don't give a damn about the algorithms or these platforms for real, like I said. <sighs> That's why the name of this podcast is Train Your Algorithm, or the algorithm will train you. Because while people are fear-mongering AI and telling you not to use AI and telling you that AI is going to take your job, billions of dollars are being poured into AI. So what are you supposed to do? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like, this has been happening time over time. People's telling y'all to be afraid of the internet. You see what I'm saying? Why are they over here like, buying domains and stuff just imagine if each and every one of us would have bought a simple domain like dog.com or cat.com or target or walmart.com we would all be up a hundred million 
just for being early and seeing like the potentials of what the internet could do. And it's the same thing with this AI stuff. You see what I'm saying? Appreciate you, doctor, for the uh, likes, man. Doctor said, thank you for your service. Hey, man, I appreciate you for taking your time to listen to this podcast, man. I'm serving, I'm serving forward, man. I'm serving forward with these gems. Walt said, um, around 2003, 2004, Chinese, China citizens don't have laptops. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, y'all would be surprised. Like, I went to Columbia, um, what was it, like a year or two ago now? Like, there were still people living in huts in certain areas. So, meaning that every time it rained, their house was getting destroyed. You see what I'm saying? Like, we're so blessed to be over here, but a lot of people is just on the BS over here, man. But, like I said, man, train your algorithm or the algorithm's gonna train you. Whether it's TV, whether there's social media, you see, like, you guys gotta get out the program. You guys gotta get out the program, man. Doctor said, can we still buy uh actually no? Meme said, I feel like you're gonna be chilling at that solo flare hits. Bro, like I said, man, my legacy is set. Like I said, I've already went viral on TikTok and YouTube. Like, I don't care about the numbers, I don't care about the views, I care about helping you. You see what I'm saying? Like, my whole purpose in life has always been to give back, no matter what form it is. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm just giving back at this point and just rocking with the people that rock with what I'm saying. Barto says, actually, no, doctor said, can we still buy domains? You could still buy domains. Like domain flipping is still a thing. Um, it just depends on like who you're selling it to, but you can still buy domains. Um, uh, one of the big things that's going on right now is a lot of people are trying to buy these um, uh, cryptocurrency domains like ETH, but I don't, I don't think, you know, we're there yet with like Web3 and whatnot, but yeah, you can still buy and flip domains. Bart, Bart says, is AI evil? <sighs> Great question, Bart. Here's the thing, right? With anything in life, whether it's AI, whether it's, you know, your dad, whether it's the TV, whether it's the internet, like there's always two sides, right? There's good and bad, no matter what it is, right? There are multiple perspectives on anything that you can see in life, right? So can AI be used for evil? Yes, if the powers that be, you know, use all their funding and money and make it evil. But can AI be good? Yes, you see what I'm saying? just depends on who's who's the controller that's what we gotta start realizing and thinking about like even when watching the news like if you watch the news today on like cnn or any of these news like websites or whatever or tv like programs you're gonna see negative 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 positive negative 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 you see what i'm saying so like we gotta like really start to question our curators man we gotta question our curators and ask like yo why you keep sending me all this negative information like, with all the bad that's going on in the world, there's so much good. So, for an example, like, people are using AI to see for the first time. People are using AI to hear for the first time. People are using AI to discover new medicines that's been taking the pharmaceutical industry so long to develop because we know Big Pharma is all about that bag. But you're not about to see that on the news. You're not. They go tell y'all to stay away from AI while... The biggest tech corporations in America is investing hundreds of millions and billions of dollars in it. Make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. Let me see. Um, doctor said, my bro, I'm 36 and I even walk around in a room and not glued to my phone. These youngins get nervous. You know what's crazy? It's crazy that you say that, doc. Um, because like me joining the military for six years, I see it, like I said, it's always two sides to see things, right? I see it as a gift and a curse. Um, but one of the biggest things that I feel like joining the military helped me realize was, like, for you guys that don't know, like, when you're on a ship, you can go months without, like, having, like, LT or phone service. You see what I'm saying? So I would go months without looking at my phone. 
because seven days a week, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m., I was working my ass off. You see what I'm saying? So I was conditioned to not be so dependent on my phone. You see what I'm saying? And like, I agree with you. I see that every single day. Like when I walk around, no matter where I'm at, you see people like, when I'm at dinner with some of my friends, they, I'm like, bro, can you talk to me? Like we here right now, can you talk to me? But like I said, I'm blessed and fortunate that like I've been able to detach from my phone um, because like I said, it's been coming more and more addictive as we speak. Just imagine when these Vision Pros come out and they get lightweight and they're like glasses, like it's really a wrap for a lot of people, so. It's really, it's really, um, it's an interesting world we live in. Doctor says negativity is what catches eyes, unfortunately. And the reason that that is, um, is because like us humans, we all have a thing called the negativity bias, right? Meaning that we are all more likely to tune and to be aware of something that's negative like I think it's what three or three to four times more than anything positive, um, and the powers of be the powers that be know this, and they continue to use these things against us. So that's why I say it, man. Like you guys gotta like really like do you guys research on anything that you see, um, because unfortunately in the United Corporations of America, man, a lot of this stuff ain't meant for you to succeed, man. Like that's just that's just what it is, and. It's all about what you do about it. Like, we can be mad about it. We can, like, feel a certain type of way. Yes, that's cool. But at the end of the day, what actions are you taking? You see what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do about it for your life? Are you going to keep watching the news that's negative? Or are you going to, like, use the information that you have access to? Like, I understand people back in the day, right? I understand people back in the day, like... You had no choice but to believe what was put in front of you because this was the only information that was put in front of you. You see what I'm saying? But today we have social media. Today we have the internet. Like you can literally look for whatever information it is that you want and get an answer. But we too lazy to do that. Like we, we too lazy to do that. Like anything that I see, like I make sure I, I look it up three different times to get multiple perspectives on it. Like I never take stuff at face value. You see what I'm saying? Doc said United Corporations of America. That's what it is. America's about that money, man. And they don't like by any means. America is about that cash. It is about that cash. But like I said, man, at the start of the uh, podcast, man, like train your algorithms or the algorithms will train you, man. Um, this was a fun live podcast, man. Make sure you guys are going to go check out uh, the rest of the episodes on Spotify. Um, make sure you guys, if you're hearing this, if you're watching this, man, like, make sure you, you like, there's so many distractions going on today, man. Like, the distractions are at an all-time high. And like I said, I'm here for my people that want to elevate, that want to do something with their lives that's just not settling for the BS. Appreciate the like, Doc. Like, we got to stop settling for mediocrity, man. We got to stop settling, man. Now is the time more so than ever. Like, we've never been in a time period where we have access to so... Inf we've never been in a time period where we have access to so much information and we're able to do things about it. Like, do y'all realize, like, there are places in, I think, I don't even, I think, yeah, in China, you don't even have, like, access to the internet. They, you see what they want you to see. In America, we have the, cho we have a choice. Like, the United Corporations of America, like, for all the wrong that they've done to, like, so many people in this country, this is the one country where you can use everything that it has to get ahead. Why do you think people still want to come to America? It's not because we good people. It's not because we good people. It's because they realize that they have an opportunity to do something better. You see what I'm saying? 
That's why foreigners are always over here dominating. Like, shout out to my foreigners out here killing it. I got nothing but love, man. I got nothing but love for the foreigners coming to another country and dominating. And, like, there is no way in hell we could go to another country and dominate the way that other people from other countries come over here and dominate. But we still be on the bullshit. Jeffrey said, isn't it great having all this information? It is great, but information is nothing without action, man. And, you know, like, before I, like, end the podcast, that was... <sighs> so, for me, right, I'm a learner, right? And one thing I have, like, learned along the way, being a learner, like, information can only get you so far, man. Life is about taking action steps, building relationships, and really just leveling up. I said this on a video, I think, a few days ago, like... If you're watching this video or if you're hearing this right now, you are fortunate to be able to do so. Not everybody is able, like, somebody brought up the uh, Ocean Gate sub, like, do y'all think that they knew that that was their last day? I guarantee you they didn't. You see what I'm saying? So we need to start by being grateful. The first thing when we wake up, we need to be like, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, God. Thank you, the universe, whatever you believe in for letting me see another day. That's where we need to start it at. You know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of people didn't wake up this morning. They didn't know, they didn't know today, they didn't know last night was gonna be their last night. So we need to start there. Every single day. Every single day, man. Doc said info without action, like talent without the discipline. Facts. That is facts. Amen. Amen. That is true. Facts, Jeffrey. That is true, man. Sub says, as soon as they saw those controls, they should have known. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. That's funny, but not funny. But like I said, man, we need to be grateful every single day for actually just being alive, right? Health is wealth, right? Knowledge is wealth, right? You see what I'm saying? So, like, we need to reframe a lot of the way we, like, look at things and think about things and we really need to leverage just where we are to get ahead. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm showing up here for y'all, like, giving y'all these gems. But, like, I'm going through it, too, each and every day. I'm like, man, this happened, this happened, this happened. But am I going to focus on bad stuff? Or am I going to focus on what can I do about the bad stuff? You see what I'm saying? I'm going to focus on what I can do about it, no matter what. No matter what. I don't care what's going on in life. If the doctor called me and say, hey, man, you got all this stuff wrong with you, man. You got this, this, and that. I'm not going to focus on what he says. I'm going to focus on, okay, what can I do about it? What can I do about it? Because me worrying and me being sad, oh, oh, that's not going to do nothing but like, nah. We're not thinking that way over here in the New Wealth Nation. You know what I'm saying? We're thinking about how we can always get ahead. We're thinking about improving ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, and the last thing, I know I said the last thing, like, three last things ago. The last gem I want to leave y'all with is, like, there are so many facades on social media, man. There are so many facades, man. Like, y'all don't know how many kids I talk to that are, like, sad as hell that they're 20 and 19 years old and they're not millionaires. Like, I'm going to keep it real. Like, a lot of this stuff is BS, man. A lot of that stuff is BS. You only in comparison with yourself. You see what I'm saying? Don't look at the next man and say, man, he got this and he got that. He got this. No. You are in a race against your own self. You are in a race against who you were the day before. Right? Nobody else. Because we were all born into this world with unique gifts, unique talents. Like... There's no use of you trying to compete with the next man, right? Don't think because you're not a millionaire at 19, you're not successful. The average millionaire is 51 years old. You see what I'm saying? Like, social media got people all, like, wrapped into their head, like, ah, oh my God, ah. Like, no, compete against yourself. 
Like, stop comparing yourself to other people on social media, man. You are your only competition because that's the only thing you can control. You see what I'm saying? Sub said a lot of people flexing to sell courses. Facts. It's facts. But like you did, Sub, like everybody after listening to this podcast, after viewing this podcast, man, like moving forward. And this is the last gym, like I said, <laughs> this is the last gym. Moving forward, we all have knowledge and no matter what the hell it is. I don't care if you know how to fish. I don't care if you know how to read books backwards. Like we all have knowledge in something. We need to take that knowledge and we need to package it inside of an ebook, a digital product, a course or something. Because that is the way we start building wealth and start to break and get out of the matrix. Everybody can, everybody needs a product. You see what I'm saying? Everybody. You know something that you can teach somebody. You see what I'm saying? So that's the type of stuff we need to be thinking about, man. A lot of people getting mad because they getting fired from these jobs. Like the government ain't gonna tell y'all we in a recession, but look up the definition of the word recession and we here. Like stop being bamboozled and stop being fooled, man. Like, y'all got to stop. Shout out to Brian for the follow. But my phone about to die, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this podcast on Spotify uh, and on YouTube. And uh, I can't upload it on TikTok. But I appreciate y'all tuning in with your boy, man. Make sure you guys are following me on all platforms. Like I said, man, they trying to take me down. I've been getting copyright strikes and whatnot. But they can't stop the real, man. They can't stop the real. And like I said, I'm trying to be omnipresent. Like, it's just me. It's really just me. It's me and a new wealth nation. I'm trying to give y'all these gems and serve y'all for it, but they want me to do the other stuff. Like, you know, talk about the BS. They want me to put on like makeup and dresses. They want me to keep y'all entertained and distracted. Nah, I'm not about that. Shout out to Brian for liking the live. I'm not about to do that. I'm about to continue to show up here each and every day and serve you guys for it with all the knowledge and the gems that I wish somebody would have gave me growing up. See what I'm saying? So make sure you guys check out the podcast, a veteran's voice podcast on Spotify. And um, I need you guys help more than ever, man. Cause like I said, these algorithms, they, all these people, they trying to come and take me down, but they can't stop the real man. Especially when we are growing at this rate. So I appreciate you guys for taking your time to tune into this live podcast. Um, make sure you guys are checking out my content on YouTube, social media, all the YouTube, TikTok stuff people say. Uh, and I'm going to get on out of here and keep uh, uploading this content and continue to serve you guys for it, man. Make sure you guys have a wonderful and amazing day. Start every single day that you wake up grateful as fuck. Start your mornings grateful as fuck that you're able to wake up and see. That you're able to wake up and hear. That you're able to wake up and taste. Because like I said, a lot of people, they woke up and didn't have one or two or three of those things. You see what I'm saying? So let's start every day with gratitude. Let's keep spreading the love and the positivity because there's so much going on in the world. And my work, my work is needed more so than ever. Like, it's crazy, y'all. It is crazy. But all love. I'm going to continue to be positive. I want to continue to see you. I said continue to see. I want to continue to send you guys that positive energy. And like I said, I'm going to keep serving forward and, uh, Continue to give y'all guys these gems and gals these gems. But I love catch you guys on the next podcast. Pop said like the fit G. I'll be trying, man. I'll be trying out here in these social media streets. I'll be trying. Um, but yeah, man, make sure you guys are streaming the podcast. Make sure you guys are sharing this knowledge with a friend. And we will keep elevating and we will keep rocking, man. Um, I love you guys. Have a blessed and wonderful day slash week if I don't see you guys again. Um, like I said, I'm on a content grind. I'm trying to give you guys as much content as I can. But I'm also like trying to pour all my effort and my energy into my community because we finna do some things, man. There's only so much I can do alone. There's only so much I can do alone. So we finna be going crazy inside of the New Wealth Nation. So check out all the free content that I have on my pages. And when you're ready to take that next step, man, check out the links in my description. And let's elevate and be great. You feel me? Let's elevate. Woo! Hope that went too loud, but I love you guys. Peace and catch y'all on the next podcast, man. Thank y'all for taking the time to rock with your boy. Elevate. Let's be great. Hey.